Hey, what is going on everybody? Scudder Gaming here. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're playing some more Football Manager, our 2020 Let's Play with the Tractor Boys of Switch Town. We're up against our local rivals, Norwich, in the uh, in the East Anglian Derby, uh, the Old Farm, uh, and Carra Road uh, uh, is our destination for this one. Um, we'll have a little look at the results that we've had. First things first, we have a new player, a player that we signed quite a while ago, and we, we put a lot of money into it. Uh, he's only just joined us. Uh, so we have signed uh, Roman Fuic, Fukic, not sure, uh, from Pleasan. Now, um, he looks, I mean, we paid 15 million for him. Our scouts recommended him massively when we were looking, and he does look like he's going to be a bit of a superstar. Looking at his, uh, he's 18 years old, and he looks very, very good. We're already suggesting that we pick him, or our, our assistants are already suggesting that we pick him ahead of Calderon for the defensive midfielder role. Um, and as you can see over here, they recommend him higher than Calderon for that defensive midfield role. Now, uh, we do have an issue anyway that uh, Calderon is out injured. So we're going to play him. He has played a couple of games already for us. He played uh, one uh, one Premier League game, which he got a rating of 6.5, and then an FA Cup game, which he got a rating of 6.7. Uh, so he's slowly getting there. He can play in the field and he can play defender as well. So we've got a bit of cover, which is quite nice in a few areas. 15 million is a lot of money for an 18-year-old, but I'm hoping that he comes good for us. Um, that's it in terms of signings. No one's left. No one's come in. Pretty much par for the course. Um, we haven't got any money to spend. So we're, we're going to be just uh, floating along in this transfer window, hoping we can keep players uh, with us. Now, Bellingham has had an offer come in from Tottenham. We rejected it and we told him that if they match the minimum release clause for Bellingham, then we will take it. Uh, and if we have a little look at Bellingham, his, uh, his contract says that 68 million release clause for clubs in the Champions League. Um, so we're not accepting offers for anyone other than that, but Tottenham are in the Champions League. So we have to just bear that in mind. I'm hoping we can get through this window and then offer him a contract without that in. Um, I certainly offer him a contract that's worth more than 68 million buyout clause, but um, who knows. Um, so I think uh, we need to take a little look at what's happened. It's not been good over the last few few weeks. So we played um, Liverpool last time out. We then uh, went away to West Brom, and as you can see, lost again. 1-0, very, very disappointing. Um, the goal um, was fairly early in the game. As you can see down here, we had a lot of the ball. We'll take a look at those stats in a second, but... Header from a corner, half uh, 10 minutes before half time. But as you can see, we had a lot of chances in comparison to them. A lot of the ball just didn't make it count. We we have had that a fair few games in a row. And then we uh, we played Fulham and uh, drew nil nil away in the FA Cup. What you'll notice here is that um, we've been having a lot of 1-1 results apart from that Liverpool game. Uh, interestingly, in the Fulham game, not that there's any highlights to look at, uh, we were pretty much dominant in this one and didn't score goals, although they had a lot more of the ball. Uh, we should have we should have won it uh, and didn't. Unfortunately, that means another replay at, uh, at home after this game. So we're not going to get any rest anytime soon. Um, I think our team kind of picks itself at the moment. Bastoni and Palmar. The only question was around Pinho, who is suggested to play 45 minutes. So I've put him on the bench. We'll let Crow play. And we've got Hernandez and Plesic in the middle of the park. I wonder if they're any better suited to swapping these roles around. Not really, I don't think. Let's try that for a game. Serrano and Bellingham out on the wings. Uh, and we're good to go, I think. Let's get uh, Let's get started. We really need a win. This is massive, actually, this game against uh, against Norwich. And I think Norwich are doing pretty well, or they were. I don't know. Is there a way of seeing it? I don't think so from here. We'll have a look in a second. I think they're above us. They certainly haven't, unless they've had a, a worse dip than us. Um, they've... Uh, well, they're 12th place. We're 15th. So we are sliding down the table. I'm going to give the old um, I have faith in you to every areas of the park. I want them to know that I believe in them and let's get started. Uh, it's Derby Day. How much do you look forward? It's always a tremendous occasion. Yeah, why not? Max Aaron's has resi resigned. Reign supreme 
at the back. Uh, I think we can say and make it uncomfortable. Um, you lift out Pino. Other circumstances, we must have risked him. Didn't feel an E2 here. Uh, Albaron's absence. We look good in training. We'll be fine. Okay, here it is. The big game. Delia is in the in the stands. If Switch Norwich is off and running. Corner taken by Plesic. Esposito should have done better. Should have done better. That was a clear cut chance. We missed a couple of those against Fulham as well. Um, but that really, really should have been should have been a chance. Okay. Here they come. Aaron's with the throw in. One by Serrano. Serrano finds Esposito, who does something that he shouldn't be doing, nodding it into the middle of the park. But terrible error at the back. Esposito's angle's being closed down. His shot is saved. Terrible defending. Not sure what their centre half was doing. Pressure out there in a in a local derby. All these fans baying for blood. Um, it's interesting. That it said we were fifteenth, but maybe that was in the form table. Maybe I was looking at it that incorrectly. And we're currently eighth. I apologise. And they're seventh. So we're we're both on a slide. Um, a win here puts us above them in the league. Um, but they have got a goal. More importantly, a win here would would have. I'm going to say would have um, put us into European contention. Instead, we're a goal down after 26 minutes and our form looks like it's going to continue. Look at this dude. Who are you? Who are you? Crow stood there with his hand on his hip even after the corner was taken. Not sure I'm feeling that, Crow. Okay, here we go again. Trying to build from the back. There is Crow. There's Hernandez. I need to make a decision on how I'm going to say his name. I think I'm going to say Fuick. Fuchich. I don't know. Um, I, I, I mean, it could be rude as well, is the other thing that I'm thinking about. Esposito's in. He's got a score. Has it? Oh, my Lord. Look, they kicked the ground. You can't have chances like that and not take them in a derby. Absolutely clear cut. Should have been better. Five minutes to go until half time. A free kick on the edge of the box. Ball played across. It's headed clear. Palmar is going to pick that up. I think he was probably offside when the ball came in originally. Um, there's Berghammer out to Bastoni. Where is he going? He's giving the ball away. Terribly, I might add. And Crow in a straight out race to get there. He does get there, and there's Bastoni again. Back to Crow. There's Hernandez and Plesic. I don't know if the swapping their positions around has made any difference whatsoever. There's Bellingham. I feel like we should play Plesic in his more comfortable role because he's the better of the two as far as I'm aware. Crow with the ball in, headed clear. Berghammer picks it up, bursts into the box, ball across. Bellingham is there. He's hit the post. We really need these to be going in. Oh no. We don't want to be 2-0 down before half time. Rano's challenge is not a good one. And now a set piece again. Here come the big men from the back. Ball across. Headed back. It's in. Oh man, we are being picked apart by Norwich. And our terrible form is continuing. Way too easy as well. No one picking him up. Not down at the back post. Oh dear. This is a long old way back from here. One minute to go until half time. They're not going to get a third, are they? They're in. Oh my lord, he's hit the post. Good lord. It's a real difficult one because we're overachieving at the moment. Um, you know, we're being, being where we are is well and truly overachieving, but we're where we are and now we've hit a bump in the road um, and we should be doing better. Okay, boys, get out there and do something better in this half. Um, Serrano has been terrible. We, I've asked the board for more money for transfers, been rejected. Here they come, Aaron's with the ball, finding Emmy. Berghammer wins it back.
the, the problem one of the biggest problems i've got when we're in this position i've got no changes i can make to make us better the only thing i could potentially do is bring on diaz uh, in the wings that's pretty much it esposito buys it across the goal to nobody he's having a bit of a stinker i think although he is getting chances serrano Heimbeck it is, I guess. Do we have anything else? Here they come again. I don't know if we need two men closing down the goalkeeper either. There's it one back by Fucic. Esposito into the box. He's got... To, oh, come on, Esposito. He's had so many chances this game. He hasn't taken them. Uh, let's get you on. Let's swap you two round. I've noticed the uh, the AI does this a lot, just swapping players around. I guess it's to try and get people in a bit more space and give them a chance. Okay, we've been creating chances. Let's get Diaz on. Um... Corner, Plessic to take. We need a goal. We haven't got it. They've cleared the ball up the pitch. We do keep a few men back from corners now. Um, they're in the box. They've fired it across the goal. We're going to get our wing backs attacking a little bit more as well. Um, and we're going to go very attacking and just hope that we get a goal. And we, I wouldn't be surprised if we lose this 3-0. Ooh. But I think this is all we can hope for is get people up the pitch and hope that someone creates something. There's 20 minutes to go. Not been our not been our afternoon. Here they come again. They're in again. Berghammer heads it clear. And we just can't get the ball. More importantly, we're not covering the passes or the spaces. It's bobbling around in the box. Oh, it should have been in. Should have been in. Bastoni back to Diaz. 20 minutes. A goal here makes it interesting. Not really creating much. Not really making space. There goes Bellingham. Burst forward into the box. He's beaten three men. Shot his save. That would have been an amazing goal. Unfortunately, we've not been particularly dangerous from set pieces. In fact, They've been more dangerous. There's the ball across Bastoni over the bar. We need something and we need it quickly if we're going to get anything out of here. To be losing this game 2-0 after having two clear-cut chances and they had none is painful. But we've won games that way as well, so... Here they come again, ball across, they're in again. Diaz is there. We've got eight minutes to get anything out of this game. They're doing a pretty good job of picking up our players. There goes Bellingham again. To the byline, ball across, Diaz is there. Diaz is there. Saved by the keeper. Their keeper has been in fine form, I will say that. Another corner. Elmard is there. Elmard's pass is terrible and here they come in numbers. Well done, Pinho. I think this one is over. I have to say, I think we've been a little bit unfortunate, but if you don't take your chances, you don't win games. There's the last minute. Well, 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 what do we say to the team? The assistant wants us to tell the boys we're good. Um, well, 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 I don't know what to say on that one. Um, De Boer, the Tottenham manager, is keeping an eye on Bellingham. Um, we're going to ascend, attend the press conference. Uh, I'm sad by the performance. Play try the hard side, despite losing us, play with aspects of our play. We deserve more than we got. Um, the result of that is a fierce rivals. Must hurt your pride. Um, 
I feel distraught. Why not? Um, you are now hoping for a favour for Aston Villa to drop points. Are we? It doesn't make any difference, really. Uh, I'm focused on what we can do. The rest is out of our hands. I mean, sometimes since you last tasted victory, uh, each defeat's only so much you can do as a manager. I'm hoping for a slice of luck. Don't think that's the one. The players desperately want to win and they'll work harder until they get it. What's Ken Long's been with you on this journey of the leagues? How important. Um, we're trying to get rid of him. Um, I don't know him, but I respect him as a manager. Um, why have you adopted this particular tactical approach? Um, we are about winning. We've made it five games without a win. That's pretty, pretty poor. Uh, okay, we'll praise you with your performances in training. Uh, and then I guess we're going to put a, a break in here. Let's have a little look what's coming up next. Uh, replay at Fulham leads. I guess maybe we'll be back with Arsenal. Uh, and then we'll have a few games where we're playing some some lower league teams. Lower league teams. Lower sort of rated teams in the league from the looks of things. Um, Wolves, Derby, West Brom, Watford. I'd hope we can get some results here. Um, the running, it looks okay. There's, I mean, this is not nice. This isn't great. This isn't great. Um, but there's some gaps along the way where we could win games. Um, we did beat Norwich at home. We lost away. I think that's probably fair. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, follow us on Twitter at Scott Gaming. See you again soon. Thank you.